designing buildings like that, you need a good drawing board, a good ruler, and a sharp pencil. Not rubbish like this. But if your ruler's like that, it's no good for drawing straight lines anymore. It is, however, good for drawing curvy lines, particularly enlarging. Simple drawings of this kind, or more complex ones, depends on how good you are and how good your pantograph is. Pantograph, it's an enlarging device. And we're going to make one out of these old rulers. In fact, they're very good because they're plastic and you can see through them and you can also melt holes in them, which you do like this. Get a pair of pliers and a paper clip bent at a right angle and if you put that in a candle flame and heat it up for a bit, you'll find that just pressing it to the plastic drills a small, neat hole in the end. Work one centimetre in from the end of the ruler. Here we go. Press it on the middle and it goes through. Drill all the way through and then take it out again. Now you'll need three rulers for this and you need to break one of them in half. And when you've got everything together, you make the holes in these places. On the long rulers, make them on the ends and in the middle. And on the half rulers, make them at one end. In each case, come in one centimetre. Then you need to get some flathead nails. And they're very important, you'll see why. And they won't fit through the hole unless you doctor it. So get the sharp end of a pair of scissors or something like that. Not a knife, because that could cut you. Just keep boring that hole and testing all the time until your flathead nail, whatever its size, is a snug fit. And really, it has to be a snug fit. If it rattles around in there, you get inaccurate drawings. When it's a snug fit, you know you're in business. If it gets a bit loose, get a larger size nail and keep going until it really is snug. Then you need to assemble them in this way. First of all, let's clear the decks a bit. And you start with your flathead nail pinned to the desk. And that's why the flathead's so important. Sticky tape can go over it, and you need lots of sticky tape to stick it down so it really doesn't rattle around. And that's a snug fit on one end of the ruler, the long ruler, I should say, which goes over there. You notice where the other nails are coming through, one in the middle and one at the end, where we've made those holes, there and there. A half ruler fits on there. And as a sort of mirror image to that, here's the other long ruler. The hole fits over that nail. There's a nail through there. The other half ruler fits on there. And we leave that one empty. There's a hole there. We leave it empty. You can see the picture. It's rather like a square with two tails like that. And we've got a little drawing here, a little dog, which we want to duplicate, making a large dog over there. And we put one pen, or in this case it's going to be a nail, so we don't mark that drawing in there. We need a pen in there. A real pen won't fit in that little hole, so this is what you do. Get a pencil, sharpen it like that, so the, the lead's all sticking out, and then break it off. And that should be about the right size to poke through that hole. Make sure it does poke through and comes through on the other side. And to hold it there and provide some weight, get a lump of plasticine and push down on that. That'll mean that that lead has to drag over the surface of the paper. That's going to be terrific. Now, get these two ends in together. Make sure the holes are over each other. Move everything back and forth until they are. And you can see why the plastic's important. We can see what's happening through there. Get another nail, or if you want to, a pen, but a nail's pretty good. I'll use a finer one than that. And carefully looking through the plastic, put the nail down till it touches the line of the drawing, and then just move around it. And you can see, as I move here, the whole complex is bounding about, and the blob of plasticine is following the pattern that I had on the paper, but it's making a much bigger one. When you do it, make sure that the nail heads don't catch on the edge of the paper. That takes a bit of setting up to make sure you're in the right place. Well, don't work as fast as me. I'm running out of time. But if you do it like this, you'll find that left on the paper, where your plasticine was, is a very faint mark. If you then get a felt pen, you can colour that in. And what you'll have there is an almost perfect replica of the little drawing you started with. Only in this case, it's going to be twice the size. <laughs>